Coronavirus pandemic continues. As of February 3, 2020, coronavirus resulted in 362 deaths in China and one death in the Philippines. There are now 17,487 cases in China with 21,000 suspected cases. Outside China, there are 151 confirmed cases of the coronavirus in 23 countries. There are 11 cases of coronavirus in the United States, nine of which were diagnosed in people who had recently traveled to Wuhan. Our best strategy is still early detection and early containment. Severe cases of the novel coronavirus presented with shortness of breath, bilateral pneumonia, ARDS, respiratory failure requiring mechanical ventilation, and death. To improve detection, CDC submitted an emergency use authorization package to the U.S. Food and Drugs Administration on February 3, 2020. Once FDA approves the EUA, the CDC test kits will be more accessible. The CDC recommends the following preventative steps for people with confirmed or suspected 2019 novel coronavirus infection, including patients under investigation who do not need to be hospitalized, and people with confirmed novel coronavirus infection who were hospitalized and determined to be medically stable to go home. Doctors and public health staff will evaluate whether you can be cared for at home. If it is determined that you do not need to be hospitalized and can be isolated at home, you will be monitored by staff from your local or state health department. You should follow the prevention steps below until a healthcare provider or local or state health department says you can return to your normal activities. You should restrict activities outside your home except for getting medical care. Do not go to work, school, or public areas. Do not use public transportation, ride-sharing, or taxis. Separate yourself from other people in your home. As much as possible, you should stay home in a specific room and away from other people in your home. Also, you should use a separate bathroom if available. In a brief report released by New England Journal of Medicine regarding the first case of 2019 novel coronavirus in the United States, the patient's stool was positive for coronavirus. Therefore, you need to wash your hands, especially after using the bathroom, and use a separate toilet if possible. Call ahead before visiting your doctor. If you have a medical appointment, call the healthcare provider and tell them that you have or may have 2019 novel coronavirus infection. This will help the healthcare provider's office to take steps to keep other people from getting infected or exposed. You should wear a mask properly when you are around other people, like when sharing a room or vehicle, and before you enter a clinic. If you are not able to wear a face mask, for example, because it causes trouble breathing, then people who live with you should not stay in the same room with you, or they should wear a face mask if they enter your room. Cover your coughs and sneezes. Cover your mouth and nose with a tissue when you cough or sneeze. Throw used tissues in a lined trash can and wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If soap and water are not available, immediately clean your hands with an alcohol-based hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol, covering all surfaces of your hands and rubbing them together until they feel dry. Soap and water should be used preferentially if hands are visibly dirty. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands. Avoid sharing personal household items. You should not share dishes, drinking glasses, cups, eating utensils, towels, or bedding with other people in your home. Monitor your symptoms. Seek prompt medical attention if your illness is worsening, if you have shortness of breath or difficulty breathing. Current information on 2019 novel coronavirus is still limited. Thus, home precautions are conservative and based on general recommendations for other coronaviruses like Middle East, Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS. Thank you for listening. Be safe and be healthier.